Hey guys, Caleb here from I'll Build Anything. A couple months ago, my cousin and her boyfriend were fixing to get married, and so I decided I needed to make them something for a wedding gift, because buying it would be too boring, and I needed a project and something to customize. So, I went looking through their wedding registry, and I settled on the only thing I could see that I could easily incorporate resin into. So I settled on these spatulas. So first things first, I had to cut the handles off, so I tried to use this multi-tool, but I found out there was metal in the handle that close to where I was cutting it off, which you'll see by the end of the blade that I was trying to use. It was a little bit flattened from hitting the metal in the middle of it. So I switched to a jigsaw. Then after figuring out which way was safest to actually use the jigsaw without cutting fingers off, I proceeded to cut all the handles off of the spoons and spatulas, which was a little bit nerve-wracking, but I knew it would turn out well in the end. Some of them took more levers than others, and now here they are, completed. All the handles cut off. So, on the spatula and the little brush, all I used to, uh, as forms for the resin, was uh, some good packing tape. Just wrap it up in a tube around it, and make sure there's no leaks at the bottom, and it will hold the resin. So I pour it in there, let it set, 24 hours later, take it off and it works fine. Now, on these ones, the forms that I used for these was some cardboard taped in the shape that I wanted it. And I used wax paper to fill the inside and then used hot glue to fill the end of it. And used that little piece of tape to hold it from spreading out too wide. Then I just poured the resin inside and that was the first half. And then I removed the forms from the handles and I didn't really bother too much trying to take all the paper out of the nooks and crannies because I knew I would get it out with the sander later anyway. And so here began the sanding which took a very long time, well, not too long, about an hour, hour and a half for the first half of the handles, and about the same for the second. And it was a very dusty affair, but luckily I have a, uh, I have a air compressor, so that made cleaning up pretty easy. Now another, another thing I will explain with these handles I was making, I got uh, my cousin and her fiance's favorite colors and made the handle colors accordingly with that. So here's the second color going on and I made the forms the same way as the other half of the handles for the second half. And I will leave links in the description to all of the resin and spatulas and all the tools used. And then began more sanding. 
so much sanding that I didn't even put all of it on here because you don't want to watch me sand for this long even though this is at 20 and 40 times the original speed. And here in Kansas it was not over 100 degrees yet so I was still comfortable enough to be outside doing this. Also I am wearing a mask for this because the dust is not good to breathe from resin or probably anything else. I did switch the belt out for a coarser grit just for shaping the handles. And you'll see later whenever I polish them that I use a lot finer grit of sandpaper. I believe I was using a 300 grit belt on these. And then I later used a I later used 600 1000 and 1500 grit sandpaper for polishing. And now for polishing I found that this polishing paste here uh, worked very well with the polishing wheels and also with uh, some rags that I had after I got um, after I got them sanded with the 1500 grit sandpaper. And for each one, each handle took probably about 10 minutes a piece to sand and polish. Sanding didn't take very long, polishing took longer. It will make your arm sore after a while, so I did break it up a little bit. And you will see me wiping off some of the polish now and then just to check and see how actually polished the surface is. I did try using Jeweler's Rouge to polish, but that didn't work very well because I got the wrong kind. Apparently you had to use plastic rouge instead of metal rouge for uh, plastic and resin, which I believe is the yellow colored rouge but I got green and white, so that didn't work. And this is running at 40 times speed, so you can see how long it took for all of the handles. And you will notice that I was wearing a mask to do this with because these polishing wheels throw off all kinds of little pieces of uh, very fine cotton. And with that, that was the last one that I did. And that was the whole process of making these handles. So here is the finished product. I think they turned out very nice. Um, I will be making a base in a future video to hold the handles, to hold the spoons and spatulas in. Um, here are the original ones before, just kind of bland wood and rubber, not too exciting. And here's the finished product. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see more like this, like and subscribe, and look forward to more videos like this coming from I'll Build Anything.